In the 70s, they were an elite unit. With names like Brick, Champ, Brian, and Ron, they rose like the Phoenix, and then they were gone. Their legend became but a whisper, told by the trees, until now. We're starting a 24-hour news channel, and we want you. I'm going to do the thing that God put Ron Burgundy on this earth to do. Have salon-quality hair and read the news. Don't stop. This just feels right. The news team is back. Welcome to the 80s, baby. Is that your foot between my legs? No. Oh. It was my hand. Your hair looks like wet popcorn. I like the parts of your face that are covered with skin. Don't stop it. That's Jack Lime. Look at him. He's a prince. He's not that great. What'd you say? He said you're not that great. Brick. Don't stop oh. I don't read Jet Magazine or uh, Jerry Curl Daily. What are you doing? I'm breaking down the barriers of race by assimilation. And on that note, which one of you convicts with the longest record can pass me the mashed oh potatoes? My. Am I right? Say what? Some believe that before the universe, there was nothing. They're wrong. There was darkness. And it has survived. I gave you my word. I would return. What's gonna happen? Alone. Destroy us. Ask yourself. What will you sacrifice for what you believe? You must be truly desperate to come to me for help. You should know that when you betray me, I will kill you. When do we start? In my life, I have a tendency to make very bad decisions. David, I don't want a boyfriend who just disappears because he's too busy. You're unreliable. You have brought me such beautiful flowers. Yes, I did. Maybe that's why I've been stuck in the same job for so long. You're three hours late, man. You know, David, I love you like a son. I am your son. Everyone has a purpose in life. I guess I just haven't found mine yet. David Wozniak, in 1994, you donated to a fertility clinic anonymously. Apparently, there was a mix-up at the clinic. What? You were the biological father of 533 children. What? It is impossible to be the father of 533 children. It is impossible to be the father of four children. How would a normal person handle a situation like this? A normal person would not be in this situation. We're in trouble, David. Your kids are suing to find out who their biological father is. What do we do now? This envelope contains the profiles of your children. Do not open it. I know I shouldn't have, but I picked out one of the profiles. I just picked one. Worst idea ever. I'm an actor missing the audition of a lifetime right now. I'll take care of the coffee shop. Who are you, man? I can make a cup of coffee. Ah! I lost my job. You lost your job. I got the part. You got the part? This could be the most beautiful thing that ever happened to me. These kids need someone to look out for them. Yeah! They need a guardian angel. Hey, sexy! What are you doing? You ever see a girl before? When you're looking out for these kids, will you be wearing some kind of cape? I didn't say superhero. I said guardian angel. I had a dream so you 
do not want to reveal yourself. You don't want to be known as the guy with 500 kids. For the first time in my life, I'm doing the right thing. Taxi! Taxi! Yeah! officially set out to try and have a life. Nice! It may be strange and a bit oversized, but it's my life. You don't have the skills to be a father. Daddy! Okay, stop it. I need order. And this is order? My name is Jordan Belfort. The year I turned 26, I made $49 million, which really pissed me off because it was three shy of a million a week. Ah! We're making a name for ourselves. Ah! And nobody knows if the stock is gonna go up, down, sideways, or in circles. You know what a Fugazi is? No, oh, Fugazi, it's a uh, fake. Yeah, hey, Fugazi, Fugazi, it's a wazzy, it's a woozy, it's a fairy dust. Was all this legal? Absolutely not. We were making more money than we knew what to do with. We don't work for you, man. Yeah, my money taped to your boobs. Technically, you do work for me. What's wrong, Daddy? Right. We're watching you bring home. Oh, my God. FBI, any kind of booze you might want? No, the Bureau forbids us from drinking. Duh. Ah! So follow me, you could about to go. Ah! I'm doing 500, I'm out of control. Ah! But there's nowhere to go. Ah! How does this actually work? There's a big money sign. They get launched at the time. They stick. Yeah. This is their gift, okay? They're built to be thrown like a lawn dart. One, two, three! Stop. Okay? Safety first. Safety obviously. is safety yeah. is Got first. It. We okay. don't want to get a bad reputation. Jumping up and down the floor My hat is an animal And once there was an animal It had a sound that mowed the lawn The sun was an okay guy They had a pack of dragonfly The dragonfly ran away but it came back with a story to say Do you have any cars available? Yeah, we have a blue one and a red one. I'll take the red one. Counselor, I always thought 
A law degree was a license to steal, but you for one hadn't really capitalized on it. I don't intend to take this up as a trade. A one-time deal, right? You may think there are things that these people are simply incapable of. There are not. I'll try and remember that. Good. That's a nice ring. Have you set a date? Not yet. You should be careful what you wish for, Angel. Because we all have secrets. I have something to discuss with you, and I'm a bit scared. If you pursue this road, you will eventually come to moral decisions that will take you completely by surprise. What do you think I should do? I don't know, Counselor. Switch off the engine! They're not cops. It's gonna be all right. Are you superstitious? How bad is it? Let's say pretty bad. And then multiply it by 10. been bad. In a time of wonder, live the most amazing creatures ever to walk the earth. Like me. Wait, that's not me. That's me, down here. We're packy rhinosaurs. We may not be as scary as a Gorgosaur, but we're way tougher. My mom watches over us, but my dad, he's in charge of the whole herd. And those are my brothers and sisters. I know, annoying. It's not easy being the smallest in a place this big. But eventually, I grew up. And our whole world changed. Now, it was my turn to be in charge to lead us on a journey to find a new home. adventure is about to begin. I'm not gonna dress it up. Uh, uh, Turkeys are dumb. Uh, really dumb. You don't get it! They're fattening us up to eat us! Hey, corn! Oh. Ah. See you later, Reggie! From the Academy Award-winning producer of Shrek. We came to this farm for my favorite presidential tradition. Ah. Pardoning the Thanksgiving turkey. And a director of Horton Hears a Who. Don't worry, you're safe. I'm tired now. This is your new home! Pizza! Does it get any better than this? Hello, soldier. Whatever you do, do not make a sound. You've been recruited for a top secret mission. What are you talking about? We're going back in time to the first Thanksgiving to get turkeys off the menu. Who are you talking to? This guy right here. He totally gets it. Look, see how he's nodding? Ah, a map. They aren't going to just write time machine on the... Uh, of course they are. Patrol, we have a contaminant. Copy that. What type agent? Turkey, sir. How do we address it? Uh, with cranberry sauce. <laughs> but seriously. Let's go. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Ah! Ah! Take us to the first Thanksgiving. Our mission is not to save ten turkeys. Welcome to our home. But all of them. <laughs> oh, she wants you to throw up some worms into her mouth. What? I will get those birds. Every last one of them! Enemy approaching! You must follow me blindly! For the flock! 
What's your plan for getting in? I'm going to use my incredibly toned pecs and buttocks to throw you over the wall. Go! Funny, right? <laughs> Free birds. I'm sick of you throwing me around. You see this line? Do not come into my personal space. Did you not see the line? Because I was pretty clear. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the victors of the 74th Hunger Games, Katniss Everdeen and Peter Malak. She's not who they think she is. She just wants to save her skin. Simple as that. She has become a beacon of hope for them. So she has to be eliminated. What do you think? I agree she should die, but in the right way, at the right time. Candace Everdeen is a symbol. You don't have to destroy her, just her image. Show them that she is one of us now. Let them rally behind that. <laughs> They're gonna hate her so much, they might just kill her for you. <laughs> Please, please, please just help me get through this trip. This trip doesn't end when you get back home. So what do we do? From now on, your job is to be a distraction so people forget what the real problems are. Chins up, smiles on. There she is, Captain 17, the girl on fire! People are looking at you, Katniss. You've given them an opportunity. They just have to be brave enough to take it. You saved my life. You gave me a chance. Yes, to live. No, to do something. We have to go, Gail, yeah, before they kill us. They will kill us. Our species must be eradicated. Our species, sir? The other victors. Because of her, they all pose a threat. Because of her, they all think they're invincible. They know our strategies. They've learned our weaknesses. And the alien attack nearly destroyed us. That must never be allowed to happen again. If we're going to survive, we need a new kind of soldier. One who doesn't think the way we think. Fear the things we fear. One the enemy would never expect. We need minds like yours, Ender. You'll be the finest commander we've ever trained. So I'm not the first? No. But you will be the last. I'll do everything I can to win this war. You really don't see them as children, do you? If you succeed, you will be remembered as a hero. Monuments, man. Time to put a team together and do our best to protect buildings, bridges, and art before the Nazis destroy everything. How many men? Six. Jesus. Well, with you at seven. That's much better. So you want to go into a war zone with some architects and artists and tell our boys what they can and cannot blow up. That's right. 
Aren't we a little old for that? Yes. We go through basic and then we wait for orders. Basic? A little help. Basic training. <laughs> oh boy. destroy an entire generation of people's culture. It's as if they never existed. We got company. Frank, we gotta go! That's what Hitler wants. And it's the one thing we can't allow. So we get to shoot some Nazis? It's your responsibility now. I've never shot at anyone before. He really wanted it all. Better get it back. What have you got? I seem to have stepped on a landmine. Why would you do something like that? What do you got? Lieutenant here seems to have found himself on top of an unexploded mine. Why would you do that? You all been spending too much time together. Looking for someone who was sold to you. A half-breed banished from our land. Did you come for me? Those who enslaved you have taken over our land. Mountains of corpses will not stand in our way. We believe you are the only one who can help us. Their army is infinite. We are 47. If we do this, there's no coming back. The enemy will be watching. I know what you are. You have no idea. I'm not afraid of you. You should be. Decide to get married now. My wildos is song. Besides, how much ass can one man have anyway? A lot. <laughs> all of your friends from the film that started it all. Oh, hell yeah. The best man. So you read my book too. Dog. That brought back some wild memories. Are coming back together. God did not intend for us to be with just one person. Hey, am I interrupting? No, not at all. I'm Brian McDonald, Harper Stewart. Hi. Hey, baby. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I'm telling Mama you were the white boy. Shut up, Harper. Ooh. <laughs> and I got all my people around. Does your journey end? 
You seek that which would bestow upon you the right to rule. The quest to reclaim a homeland and slay a dragon. Do not think I won't kill you, dwarf. When did we allow evil to become stronger than us? It is not our fight. It is our fight. One of us is a trap! It's undoubtedly a trap. Such is the nature of evil. In time, all foul things come forth. If you awaken that beast, you will destroy us all. Was that an earthquake? That, my lad was a dragon. Hello. Hello. I got news. I'm getting married. Hey! Tell her she's making a huge mistake. Welcome to Las Vegas. I want all of you to get in trouble. Do you guys have drugs? Does Lipitor count? We're gonna party like it's 1959. This is gonna be one sloppy weekend. It's this man's bachelor party! Four Red Bull vodkas. Yeah. Which one of you is Sam Harris? Red ball of vodkas are strange. I feel like I'm getting drunk and electrocuted at the same time. I probably should get up and dance, but I'm used to having a partner. Well, it doesn't seem to matter to that fella. Maybe I'll give it a shot. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe now. <laughs>